China and Pakistan have recently established the Joint Wheat Molecular Breeding International Lab at Kwedi Azam University in the capital city of Islamabad. Funded by the Science and Technology Partnership Program of the Chinese Ministry of Science and Technology, the lab is aimed at enhancing food security, human resource development, and training of Pakistani students and scientists through knowledge and research sharing. Hafiz Salman, a 24-year-old Pakistani student, was keenly performing digital image processing to analyze the size and shape of wheat grains at the lab. As you know, Chinese varieties are known for their short height and they are resistant to lodging. So we want to transform this character from Chinese varieties into the uh, Pakistan varieties. We are working in collaboration with the Chinese scientists uh, and uh, we want to transform these characters into the Pakistani characters varieties so we can enhance uh, the yield of the wheat and it can help in future as well. The project is expected to help increase the grain yield and thus better secure food security. So the varieties which we have tested under this project, so the initial results that uh, we observed that the yield potential of these varieties is, is 8 to 10 percent more than the conventional wheat varieties which we are growing here. So this result is very promising. So food security is a very big challenge, not only for Pakistan but also for the China. And for, to achieve this food security, we need the continuous development of staple food crops. With the establishment of the joint lab, Pakistan also set up its first ever speed wheat breeding center at the National Agriculture Research Center to develop multiple generations of wheat in minimum time by providing samplings with favorable conditions. Uh, breeding is a long uh, process and uh, for registration it takes like uh, 12 to 15 years in Pakistan. And so now we are able to make, uh, uh, develop uh, six generations per year. So by this system, we can reduce uh, six to seven years from uh, our breeding program uh, to develop a new variety. So it's very good uh, to uh, enhance and uh, the capability of Pakistani uh, producers and uh, Pakistani farmers. So by this system, we can see that uh, Pakistan can uh, increase their uh, exports. Pakistan can have uh, uh, to overcome their food security matters. So this, this CPAC is uh, very important for Pakistan.